Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is Git class? Let's start with the actual note itself this time, rather than the example, because the example is not going to make much sense. And we'll look at our Git class note. This is a really simple note. We just type in Git class. It's going to go ahead and look for, oh, I hate, there's so many things to say git class, but basically it's right here under utilities. It's called git class, no space, which is kind of annoying. It's just going to give you a simple note. What this is going to do is take an object. So it's in either an object that's in your browser, for example, like one of my boxes, or an object that exists. In this case, it's my text block right here. And it's going to return back the class that that object is. Now, it's useful if you need to know the base class of something because you wish to use it. In my example, what I'm doing is I'm taking my text block, asking for the class. Now it's going to return back a class of type text. Then I'm using that to construct an object from a class. So I'm now making a text object and then adding that to my vertical box. So if I go ahead and run this example, we're not going to see much here. When I hit do something, it's going to add a new text block. And if I do something a few more times, we'll add more text blocks each time. Nothing fancy, but I'm using the class from git class to make a construct text. Because I can't construct text takes a class, so I need to get a class. And it's the easiest way to get a class from an existing item. Now it's useful if you want to find out exactly what class an item is. You may have multiple ones. You may have, for example, multiple enemies. And they may all be of a parent type enemy, but they may be individual classes such as enemy red, enemy green, enemy blue. And you want to get the specific type. Maybe you only want a certain amount of those enemies spawned, so you're keeping track. And after you hit a limit, you're going to spawn a different type. So it's a useful way to find out the base class of an item, or an object, technically. So that's going to wrap up the node. It's really simple. Put in an object, get out a class, do what you want with the class.